Now, there has been a minor change within the leadership of the Nigerian Senate. Senator representing Borno South Senatorial District Ali Ndume has been removed from his position as Chief Whip and replaced with his counterpart from Borno North, Senator Tahir Mongono. The decision was announced on Wednesday after a letter of complaint against Senator Ndume by the leadership of the All Progressives Congress, APC, was read by the President of the Senate, Godfrey Lakwabio, during plenary. The letter, signed by the APC National Chairman, Abdullahi Ganduje, and Secretary, Senator Ajibola Bashir, accused Indume of making unguarded utterances that were detrimental to the country in his capacity as Chief Whip. His latest tie right. I hope I'm right. On air during a program on Arise Television, where he referred to the government of Bola Ahmed Tunibu, President, Commander in Chief, as being run by thieves, portrays Ali Ndume as a person who is bent on running the country down and running the party aground through incitement and cheap propaganda. We have the view that Senator Alin Dume should honorably resign his membership of the APC and join any opposition party of his choice formally instead of hiding behind the veil of grass activism to decimate the hard-earned cohesion and goodwill that our party, the APC, and it therefore behoves on the APC caucus to bring this to the attention of its members for necessary action to curtail his deliberate mission to undermine the government and the party we realize that the position of the whip of the Senate belongs to our party. And we are not opposed to whatever position the members of the APC caucus in the Senate may have. That we are of the opinion that distinguished Senator Mohammed Tahe Mongunu should immediately replace the senior senator Alain Dume, who is bent on bringing down the country. Meanwhile, the Senate has also backed President Balatinubu's request to amend the 2024 budget by 6.2 trillion naira and to amend the 2023 Finance Act to impose and charge windfall tax on banks for their foreign exchange operations. In his request, the President said that 6.2 trillion naira would be sourced from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation. To provide the sum of 3 trillion, 200 billion only for renewed hope infrastructure projects and other critical infrastructure projects to be undertaken across the country and the sum of 3 trillion only to meet further recurrent expenditure requirements necessary for the proper operation of the federal government expenditure which are to be funded by expected revenues accruing to the federal government of Nigeria. Furthermore, the proposed amendments to the Finance Act 2023 are required to impose a one-time windfall tax on the foreign exchange gains realized by banks in their 2023 financial statements to foreign capital infrastructure development, education and healthcare access, as well as public welfare initiatives. <laughs> 